Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's take a look at the various electromagnetic radiation types and which ones are dangerous and which ones are not. Of course, you've heard all kinds of things about are high power lines dangerous? The electromagnetic radiation coming from them, are they dangerous? Are cell phones dangerous? Since we put them next to our ears so many times a day and we have electromagnetic radiation come from them, uh, are those dangerous to us? Well, there's a lot of studies that have been done on those and uh, the jury probably is still out. However, they feel that under normal circumstances, these are probably not dangerous. But what about electromagnetic radiation in general? What about all the various types? Start with radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, UV, X-rays, and gamma rays. Well, we can, we can use the general uh, relationship that when the frequencies are high, that then is related to high energy. In other words, electromagnetic radiation that has high frequencies contains high energy. It's directly proportional. You double the frequency, you double the energy. And so therefore, anything that has high energy has the potential of causing harm. And so therefore, the last three types, anything beyond visible light, UV, X-rays, and gamma rays, tend to be dangerous for life, human life, and all life in general. Matter of fact, if we're exposed to UV radiation for any length of time, the skin molecules, the molecules that make up our skin, will be damaged from the high energy of the radiation. There will be destruction, and therefore it's bad. Typically, sunburns are an indication of too much UV radiation. X-rays, of course, they're very energetic. They're so energetic that they will actually go through our bodies. The fleshy tissue of our bodies can be penetrated by X-rays, and only the bones will scatter the X-rays so that we can actually take X-ray pictures of our skeleton structure, our bones. So therefore, these rays going through our bodies do cause some damage to the tissue as we're getting X-rays taken. Now, does that mean that we should never get x-rays taken? Of course, that's not the case. X-rays are necessary sometimes to figure out what's wrong with your bones. You have a break, you want to know what it looks like so the doctor can put it back together correctly and it can heal correctly. So you want to say x-rays are good for medical reasons when you need them, for your teeth, for other reasons. You want to take x-rays, but of course, you want to take as much precaution as possible to get as little radiation as possible. And nowadays, the x-ray machines, they give you much less energy doses than the old ones used to 30, 40, 50 years ago. Gamma rays, they're very energetic. Those are the rays that have the highest frequencies, therefore carry the highest energy. And those rays will penetrate your body and cause a lot of damage. The more you're exposed to gamma rays, the more damage you will get from the gamma rays and the more lethal they can be. Gamma rays can actually be lethal at significant doses. X-rays, of course, typically not unless you've been exposed to a tremendous amount of X-rays, which is usually not the case. But anyway, those three kind of radiations are dangerous. Now, what about microwaves? A lot of people think microwaves are dangerous because we usually hear lots of warnings about the microwave. If you're pregnant, don't get too close to a microwave oven. Uh, what if the microwave leaks some radiation? Is that dangerous to us? We walk by if we're nearby one of those. It turns out microwaves in and of themselves, since they have lower frequencies, they have longer wavelengths or lower frequencies, because of this equation right here, they don't have a lot of energy, so therefore they tend not to be dangerous to us. However, that said, microwaves have the ability to be absorbed readily by tissue like, you know, uh, meaty tissue or something like that because the natural frequency of the microwaves match the natural frequency of water molecules and since most of us are predominantly made out of water believe it or not we end up absorbing microwaves readily and so the result will be if we get bombarded by a lot of microwave radiation which could happen in certain laboratory settings where there are microwaves present then we would absorb that energy and our bodies would get warmer we would begin to feel like we have a fever. If you take our temperature, our temperature may be 102, 103 from the heating up of our bodies, and that, of course, is not good for us. And, of course, if you continue to absorb more and more microwaves, yes, you will indeed, in the end, cook. And that, that's not a good thing, of course, for health. So microwaves in and of themselves are not dangerous, just being bombarded by too many microwaves. And, of course, a little bit of leakage out of the microwave oven will never accomplish that, so that's not dangerous at all. It's just if we're bombarded by a great number of microwaves in a laboratory setting from an antenna in a laboratory or something like that, then, yes, we could absorb a lot of energy and we could therefore get elevated body temperatures, which is not good. Other than that, I wouldn't worry about it. And all these other devices, when you begin to think, how much we're being bombarded by electromagnetic radiation from all around us, all different sources, constantly, 
You can imagine that our bodies seem to be used to that. Only if we get very high doses of certain types of radiation that our bodies can easily absorb and maybe resonate with certain structures in our bodies, could there be concern and therefore we may want to study that a little bit more. In general, stay away from these three and you'll be okay. And don't go crawling in a microwave oven and you'll be okay as well. I would say don't worry too much about all the other radiation. Just stay away from UV, X-rays, and gamma rays and we'll be good.